Hi, my name is AJ. I'm from San Diego, and I'm studying finance here. Hey, everybody. My name is Joe. I'm from Pittsburgh, uh, and I'm a junior economics major. I'm Nathan. I'm from DC, electrical engineering and uh, pre-law track. Dude, why do you bring? Why'd you bring Desperate into it? Like, what? What? Why makes you even bring that in? Like, Desperate has nothing to do with it. I want to know why these young, young black teenagers decided to car that it was a good idea to jack someone's car and take it from them and be violent in the process. I just want to know, like, explain that to me. You have a certain amount of potential, a certain amount of, of energy that you can put forward into something, yep. and they're just using it in a way that's looked at as negative. Dude, no, hang on a second. Let me help you out here. It's not oh, looked yeah. at as negative. It's, it's Wrong. Negative. It's wrong. It's wrong. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, like, here's the thing. Look, there are, here's the problem. If they weren't black, we we would shift the conversation a little bit. And you guys are you're. How does that, I don't I don't know. How I does think that you would have. No, hang on. I think you would have. I just see this again and again and again that we don't know how. If we're, for example, in this case, if we're not black, we don't know how to critique black people in a way that we can feel really, really comfortable with. This is a photo of them. They were car carjacking somebody. And they're young, man. They're like, they, they were in, this is in DC, I think, okay? How did these young people come to think that carjacking, at that age, they're young, they're teenagers, The carjacking is a good idea? How'd they get there? Right? Remember, we got the two categories. We got stuff that happens to us, the outside of us, the stuff with the ether we live in, and then we have the part of us that, that the stuff that comes from within, right? So that, that kind of free, that, that, the stuff that we're more free on, and then we have the other stuff. So how, how, how is it that these young people decided that carjacking is? How would you explain? Well, you're going to explain it to the cameras. Yeah, so I mean, good illustration is the French philosopher Rousseau, right? He comes to the conclusion that like, you know, in a hypothetical situation where um, I'm hungry and I need to steal my, uh, and, you know, when I say master, servant master relationship back then, I need to steal my master's food, Rousseau would say, yeah, and I wouldn't feel bad about it because it's what I wanted to do and it's what mm -hmm. I needed at the time. So poor, so like poor people would say like, hey, I, I'm just going to take what I need. Some poor people. Um, and then you look at uh, John Locke, social contract theory, right? And yeah. His background, along with his approach to life, led him to conclude otherwise that, you know, sort of a Kant idea that, you know, don't, golden rule, do unto others as you would have do unto yourself. Okay. If, if I had a car, I wouldn't want someone trying to jack my car. You want to take a stab at this, and then AJ's going to jump in. Or do you want AJ to go first? Yeah, so <laughs> this could be like a Robin Hood situation. Like, what if these people are, you know, oh, sorry, I'm talking. No, no, that. assume, they're, what, assume what, it's not. What if, okay. If it's, it's, it's not, not a Robin. They're not like, it's jacking not, the car to give it to a poor person. If it's not desperate. I, okay, this is my opinion on the stance. I feel like desperate people are more willing to do desperate things and I think that if you really look at it, survival is the, is the key thing of this. If, if they don't have whatever, whatever resource it's going to be, okay, that, that, that's, the, that's the, the, the ground reason of, of why they are. Okay, here, are let me, I'm going to, dude, why do you bring, why'd you bring desperate into it? Like, what, what, why makes you even bring that in? Like, desperate has nothing to do with it. I want to know why these young, young black teenagers decided to car, that it was a good idea to jack someone's car and take it from them and be violent in the process. I just want to know, like, explain that to me. The first answer you would have given, the f when we first went down the road, the very first thing when I asked you about the NASA kids, why doesn't that apply here? You said the NASA kids, yeah, they're really smart. They're really driven, they're really talented. Well, these kids then would be what? Would say that they're driven to go steal a car. Okay, they're smart right? about how to drive. They're smart in that sense, and they're just using their potential for a different reason. 
They really are at that, if, at that level. You're using okay. your potential. You have a certain amount of potential, a certain amount of, of energy that you can put forward into something. Yep. And they're just using it in a way that's looked at as negative. Dude, no, hang on a second. Let me help you out here. It's not yeah. looked at as negative. It's, it's wrong. fucking it's wrong. negative. It's wrong. It's wrong. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, like, here's the thing. Look, there are, here's the problem. There are, there are a lot of conservative people who are listening right now, okay? And you guys just switched a little bit. If they weren't black, we, we would shift the conversation a little bit. And you guys are... You're How does that, I, don't, I don't know. How I does think that you would have. No, hang on. I think you would have. I just feel like you guys, you just backed up a little bit. You weren't, it's like, oh, they're black, so I gotta kinda not be, I don't wanna be seen as racist, so I'm gonna just back off, because otherwise you'd just say, yeah, a bunch of black kids, like, damn, man, I hope they caught these and threw them in jail, like, come on, I mean, like. That's what I'm, like, I'm thinking, like, you know, nature of man is inherently evil, right, and so. No, it's not. I disagree. Dude, it's in, where's the evil? I don't see any evil in this room. Hang on. Don't go, don't philosophize. I just, explain to me how they came to carjack without being liberals. Now you suddenly sound like a bunch of liberals. Like, cause you're not willing, I mean, cause you're, cause you're. I could explain that, you know, I see a car, I want it. That's yeah. one explanation. But again, it, it's not black and white, right? It's the same thing with the NASA interns where it's like. Okay. Maybe, maybe they just I, thought it was sick. I mean, like, I mentioned. You could think that. that. Like, I mentioned that, you know, okay. someone successful right. in that position had parents who believed in them. And so it's like, yeah, their circumstances influence, but it was still a product of their own decision. Okay, all right. Hey, hang on, Joe. I hear what you said, bro. Go ahead, yeah, Joe. I think it's kind of wrong of you to assume that, like, we all changed our viewpoint on what we thought was right and wrong just because you put up, like, some Okay, hang on. on Maybe you didn't. And, like, You're I right. didn't get a chance to hop in yet. You didn't get a chance. All right, bro. Save your, your, your kind of half partly white brothers up here. <laughs> I would say, like, they made that decision because one way or another, they wanted that car for some other reason, right? Whether that's right or wrong. I mean, it is inherently wrong to go out and steal a car. I don't think anybody in here would yeah, disagree okay, with that. You. But, like, for whatever reason, they determined that that was the course of action that they wanted to take for some other reason. Yeah. It, it has nothing an, to do an, with what they look like. An effed up reason. Right? Whatever it is, sure. it's an effed up reason. Yeah, it has nothing to do with what they look like. Okay. It has everything to do with All the right, decision so listen, that they man. made. Okay, I got you. So here's the thing. You're, you're right, you, you are absolutely right in terms of me like kind of jumping in, but all, all I can say is, I just see this again and again and again that we don't know how, if we're, for example, in this case, if we're not black, we don't know how to critique black people in a way that we can feel really, really comfortable with. Like, yeah, man. The moment a black person comes in, what one thing that happened, and I'm not saying it completely happened with you guys, but, it, but, it, but you were pretty strong about the NASA people, and you could have gone in the opposite direction with these people. It's like, I, I, yeah, I don't know, but clearly they ain't got, no, they got nothing going on for them. They're violent. They're this, they're that. They clearly had no, their social upbringing clearly was not up to any kind of But we of don't know that. I mean, well, you didn't know that about the NASA people. Dude, can you go back to the NASA slide? The woman, the, the woman on the, the guy on the top left, he might have got the internship because he's gay. And like, they're like, yeah, or because he's Latino. He looks kind of, he, does he look, he looks kind of Latino, right? He could be a Latino. Does he look that? And like, the woman on the right, oh, because, you know, because we have affirmative action going on, so we needed a black woman because this is post-George Floyd. You didn't, you didn't say any of that. You were like, oh, they're clearly hardworking. Like, how do, I don't know. How do you know that? It could have been all affirmative action. So I, I don't think it's fair for you to assume that I didn't critique the other one just because they were okay. black. I, okay, I got you. I mean, I'm coming from a law perspective, right? You assume innocent yeah. until proven guilty. I hear that. Okay, I hear that. It's a success story, and with the other one, it's a failure okay, story. Okay, dude, so here. I, I got you, man. I got you, and I got you, and I got you. And the issue is... You don't have enough time. We didn't have enough time to really build it out. So you guys are doing great because you're, you're really smart and you're going here. I'm part, I'm responding to things that I just see over and over and over again, okay? And one is nobody said anything about the fact that, well, these people probably, if I had to guess, they probably came from upper middle class families. They probably did not come from poor families. None of you said that. 
You didn't say like, yeah, internship, it's really, really possible that they knew somebody. And somehow nepotism made that happen, right? Yeah, go ahead. So, I mean, I didn't say directly that they came from an upper class family. No, you didn't say that. I didn't say it directly. But I did say that people who are not in that situation, they're, they're not as rich, they're not going to be able to have the same kind of exactly. thoughts. And then you can go into that more. It obviously could be, you know, they could be less qualified than the plain vanilla white dude yeah. who's, who's just like, you know, a regular yeah. dude, more qualified because they are a different race. And no, because they overcame more. And you were right on the, urge of, on the verge of saying that, by the way, when you first started talking, that like, well, they clearly have some kind of motivation and drive and like, yeah, it could be drive because their parents are really talented and push them. Could be drive because they had very little and they like had to, you know, overcome that. One quick question, bro. Is it important that these guys are black? Does it make a difference that they're black? Um, I like if are you speaking legally or like talking about no, what No, just did like now? in terms of how we're gonna explain their actions. Does it make do you bring race into when do you bring race into it? We're gonna explain their actions. When do you bring race into it? Or I don't think you? that it should be brought in. Ah, uh, okay, hang on. Do you agree with that? To an extent, yeah. I mean Okay, hang on. Do you agree with that? Just like would you mostly agree with that? Yeah, race shouldn't be brought in. It doesn't really matter. I mean it definitely doesn't doesn't give a good impression to the African American community, doesn't at all. Okay, but and after everything that we've been through in this class, we've seen all these numbers, yeah. these people are suppressed, and it's only further putting them in that, in that okay. giving them that bad look. Okay, okay, so here's what I would say. Yeah, what I would say is race, absolute, it absolutely matters that they're black. Okay, as a sociologist, I am really, the moment I look at that, I am absolutely thinking, whoa, they're black kids. Okay, this matters. Now, what am I thinking? I'm thinking a whole range of things about black Americans and poor black Americans and brown Americans and rich and poor brown Americans and all sorts of things, right? But for me, if I want to understand how it is that these kids ended up carjacking someone, I'm going to bring race into it. Now, that doesn't mean it's an excuse. I'm not going to say like, oh, because they're black, they're less responsible. Nothing like that. It's just that if I really, really want to understand what the hell's going on and how it is that they came to the place of thinking that it was a good idea to carjack someone, I want to, their race is going to be part of that conversation. It's not the only thing, but it's going to be part of the conversation. I just need to learn how, but you know, I've spent 40 years talking about race and having conversations about race and thinking very thoughtfully about when it matters and when it doesn't matter. You know, so for me, I could be in a room for this entire room could be black people. And I could put that up there and I'd be like, all right, all right, black people, here's what you got to know. Let me start. Let me tell you a story about these kids right here. And first off, most of the people in the room would be saying, yeah, we'll throw the throw the book at them, man. People have this idea that black people would be really liberal and be like, well, you got to coddle them. You know, it's not their fault. It's like, dude, that's because you, you don't know black people, man. The cons most conservative I almost said hour, but it's more like three hours of the week. It's a black church on a Sunday morning, man. It's like, so this is kind of thing, right?